I'm Ellie from The Dark Imp and I'm going to teach you how to play a patience game called Demon. So being a patience game it's for one player. You use a standard deck of cards, no jokers required. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to count out your demon, that's 13 cards. That's 13 there and you're going to place them to the side, the left hand side of your of your playing space. Then you're going to deal out the next four cards in a line across and one card on top. Now uh, with Demon you're going to build up from foundations like you do in many solitaire patience games but in Demon the foundation that you're going to build up on is the card that comes up here. So it might sometimes be aces like in other games but but frequently it's not obviously there's only one in 13 chance it'll be an ace so you're going to build up from a king in this game so what goes on top of a king is an ace and what goes on top of a two uh, an ace is a two so we're going to keep building up like that the highest cards in this game are going to be the queens they're going to go on the pile last so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if any of these cards can go. Now, if we had any other kings, they could go up here. If we had the ace of spades, it could go on top of here. Uh, they can also go on each other. These uh, piles can be built upon. And in this game, you're going to build down on these. So uh, numerically down and in alternating colors. So this black seven can go on this red eight. And then we, we're going to flip over a card from the demon to uh, take its place. Now, if this was a black nine, I could pick up both of these cards here and put them on top. Um, there, in some games, you can only move one at a time. In this game, it's fine to move a pile. Uh, but it's a red nine, so we can't do that. Now we're going to start working our way through the pack. So you're holding the pack in your hand and you're going to take three cards at a time. Now it's important that when you take three cards, instead of just taking them like that, you're going to flip the order. So you're going to take one and put it to the back, take the second one and put it on top and take the third one. And then you're going to flip all three over. And this is the card that you have to work with. Now a nine of spades, it can either go out on one of these piles moving down in alternating colours or it can be built on one of the foundations. That's not going to work with either of those. So we, we do the same again and we keep working through, oops, I just noticed this card that I revealed when I put the jack here also goes. Now that's absolutely fine, so you can put that there as well. And, and if this card was to go as well, you could put that down as well. I was a bit premature with my card flipping. Now this doesn't go. Remember, we're looking, ah, we're looking for kings. Found a king, it can go up there. And I have a quick look around to see if I can see the ace of diamonds, but it's not out on the board. We've got the two there, that won't go anywhere. And now we have a black five. Here's another king. Now the queen of, uh, sorry, we're, we're looking for the ace, not the queen. We're looking for the aces and all of these. So keep your eyes peeled for aces. Okay, now when you come to the end of the deck, if you've got uh, less than three cards, you can turn them over individually and look at each one. So that actually will go there. So we've got a lot of hearts at the end of our piles here, haven't we? Then when you've got to the end of the deck, you're going to flip the deck over and you're going to do the same thing again. And, and you're going to again change the order of the cards. And now you're going to see different cards. And if you'd have just taken three cards and flipped them, you would see the same cards each time you play through and it, you wouldn't have so much chance of, of getting the game out. That doesn't go anywhere. Here we are, hooray, finally an ace. That can go on there, but no two. Oops. King goes there. Here's the two. That can go on there. Well, I'm looking forward to getting the three so we can start getting these out here. And then three cards left. Okay. Flip the pack again. And you're going to see different cards. Now you keep going like this as far as you can. 
you keep flipping over the deck whenever you get to the end of the pack you're going to keep putting out as much as you can whenever you've managed to get a space along your line you're going to fill it up with a card from the demon and your aim is to get all of the cards out not just out of the demon but out of these piles so you're aiming to get all the cards on one of those piles over there it comes out sometimes uh, more often than not it doesn't um, I would say it's probably oh there, there's some mathematical um, somebody mathematical would have worked it out probably David Parlett would have worked it out uh, but it will probably come out about once every five turns maybe once every four I think that's about average about what it happens with me oh that one will go and so I'm going to keep going and see how far I get.